data structure using C++ module 4 uh, session 4 uh, let's discuss uh, today uh, how to construct a binary tree program main program how it should look like and also two traversal technique pre-order and um, in order so previous session we have discussed various uh, uh, traversal techniques which we have four mainly in order pre-order post order and level order and also we had uh, looked at given an expression how it is going to uh, display the elements present in a node using various traversal techniques uh, but the program wasn't discussed we will do that in today's class so first let's look at you might be having a question uh, how would you construct a binary tree the main programmer who is going to use your binary tree how it should code what is the data type of the binary tree you may have a question so let's discuss that so this program what you have here addressed you can avoid this provided if you are concentrating more on syllabus this will not be asked this is just to understand uh, to make you understand like how the structure the program structure should look like suppose if you want really to code this okay so we will begin with so we have already looked at what is this binary tree node so binary tree node happens to be a structure this is a structure uh, struct element it is with three features element left child and right child and left child and right child in turn happens to be a binary tree node pointer because when we look at this figure we have this any node whichever you're gonna construct for a binary tree is having three features the left child the right child and the node element node element could take any data type over here we take uh, the node element takes integer data type and uh, uh, literally any node which we have uh, has to point to uh, some other nodes uh, for example this root node is in turn pointing to two other nodes b and c which we call it as a left children and right child so since it is pointing so we are supposed to construct all the nodes whichever you come across has to be considered as a binary tree node pointer so binary tree node pointer how many you need to construct a b c d e f g so together i require seven nodes to be constructed so you write the program in the main program we need to write the syntax something like this binary tree node pointer a b c d e f g and once you create so now nothing is gonna happen because you have defined the pointers you have defined the node format that's all to make or to add all this uh, tree so to add the or to construct the tree in this form so what you have to do is you have to construct first the terminal nodes so when you observe this figure this figure the height of this binary tree is 3 and uh, you have four terminal nodes namely D E F G so construct a terminal node so we write D E F G so how would you construct a node so we use new binary tree node so binary tree node we need to construct now it's defined now uh, it's defined saying that it can point to some other nodes then you create a node for creating a node we use new topology so new binary tree node now we have three configuration in binary tree node structure one doesn't take argument second takes argument third takes three arguments so here you are using a uh, binary tree node with the configuration which takes one argument and also it, which takes three arguments so if you if it takes one argument then it is the element itself element will be loaded into the element of the binary tree node and the left child and right child are made null so you remember this you uh, if you don't uh, remember go back to session 3 uh, just uh, figure out uh, it was addressed clearly so first d e f g we need to construct and we observe that this is not having children's d e f g are not having uh, children so we write d is equal to new binary tree node integer value we are loading and the value which we need to insert on the node d is 4 so element you provide 4 has to be stuffed inside the node d so 4 is given to it and automatically the left child and right child of this node e will be set to null which indicate this is not having any children so they are null 
left child and right child are null so it is a terminal node similarly repeat the same for the other terminal nodes e f g elements will be different now for e the element is 5 for f the element is 6 and for g the element is 7 so do this write this four line of code once you write this then we need to construct its parent we need to construct the parent of d e what is the uh, 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 parent of d e it is b so b we write and here we know the L element which you need to insert onto this b node is 2 so we write that and uh, the left child of b is already addressed it is d so it should point to d so we write d it should point to d and uh, right child of uh, b is e so it should point to e so we write this form so now you are using the second third configuration of binary tree node which is having three arguments the element the left child and right child so now you get the structure b d e structure you will get then again we construct c and we say that c while constructing element is 3 so it is addressed and its left child is f and its uh, right child is uh, g and f and g are already created so you get this structure now finally we need uh, to create a and we need to um, uh, link a's left child to b and right child to c so it is done using this instruction so a is equal to new binary tree element which you are going to insert is 1 and uh, the left child of a is b so it is addressed and the right child of a is c so you write this piece of code then definitely you're gonna get the structure now let's discuss once we create a binary tree in this form using this piece of code how would you print all the elements uh, might be a uh, numbers or could all it could also be an uh, expression using various traversal methods okay so the next topic is binary tree traversal method so here before we move on to this four traversal methods we will look at what the visit function does because all these methods will use visit function so visit function is similar to when you're visiting a node the element value what you have in this node will be printed so that's what visit has to do so this is void so you can use uh, it is not returning this visit function is not returning anything but it indeed takes a node binary tree node the argument taken by visit is a node pointer so this is the argument taken and uh, once uh, uh, the visit functions job is to display the element present in the node so since x is a node binary tree node the element value will be displayed using c out function so remember this program this is a program to display the element present in the uh, node you call it as a visit function it is similar to visiting a node remember it is visiting a node fine so we will make use of this program everywhere so again this program will not be explained so that's what uh, you have visit function now let's look at the pre-order program first program so this is your pre-order program this is your pre-order program the one which is highlighted the program is a small piece of code but you have to understand uh, how it works this is very important definitely you can get a question definitely almost all question paper uh, different traversal uh, methods of binary tree will be asked so concentrate how this works so it is a small program but it grows when you call because you, you are recursively calling the same function again and again so you, you are using the function or recursion method is used here okay so now let's look at an example this example we will take so we know now now let's assume that uh, the previous case we we use this uh, program so in that case we get this kind of a tree now now let's see that using traversal techniques how this elements will be displayed using pre-order method so this is already there the program is already there let's assume this is there again I'll not repeat now pre-order function you're calling so the t value which you are going to use now assume that after writing this set of instruction below that i'm using a command pre-order of a call pre-order of a why a because this is a binary tree root element you have to address first a root for this binary tree is a so that is addressed here and it is a node pointer so when this program is called automatically it goes to this uh, template function 
okay and you have now pre order of binary tree node the first argument is a now and it is a node pointer so no problem so argument is matching it is a node pointer now first you check so I'll, I'll explain the same program as over here so this is how it works so first you have pre order of a that's your root node so what you have to do is you have to visit a so it first executes this command so what is it what is visit of a so in pre order technique first the node element will be printed then the right child then the sorry node followed by left followed by right and it should be printed in the recursive fashion so first you have pre-order of a this program first visit of a uh, takes place so visit of a function is executed so visit of a what it does it goes to the node a it visits node a and it will print the element present in this node so the element present in the, this node is one so i'll get one first so this command is completed then you are moving on to pre-order of b <clears throat> so when you execute pre-order of b now we will uh, consider this node is b okay uh, pre-order of b how does it take pre-order of b because you have here pre-order of the node's left child what is the left child of a the left child of a is b so you should be getting here pre-order of b i hope this is clear so you have t t was a the left child of a is b so you get here b and b is a node pointer so when b is invoked when you're calling pre-order of b this program is not complete it is halted at this position because this has to be executed completely then only you move on to pre-order of c now you have pre-order of b so pre-order of e b program will be working now so when you work on pre-order of b this gets again expanded in this fashion now you go to visit of b so in this node b the root element which is visit visit function visit of b takes place so the root element is 2 so you get 2 printed so you get after 1 it prints 2 now it will go to the function pre order of t so what is there the uh, why pre order of t because the left child of b the left child of b this if i take it as b you get b of left child so left child of b is t correct so we get pre order of t now again pre-order of d should be executed so pre-order of p is not complete pre-order of a is not complete now we call pre-order of d now again pre-order of d is called so when pre-order of d is called so again you go to this node visit the node visit of d so visit of d is going to give you a value 4 now the element present in the node d is 4 so you get 4 so once it prints 4 then it will go to the pre-order of the left child of the node D the left child of node D is null because we have set it as null in the previous case I have told you if uh, one argument is passed the left child and right child will be automatically set to null so this is a terminal node so terminal node so this has null so you, you are executing pre-order of null now what happens when pre-order of null is called so when uh, you have this null pre-order of n so T is null now if t is none then don't print anything anything but pre-order function is terminated so pre-order of n is complete so it is not printing anything then the right child of d you look the right child of d again is null so pre-order of null, null again you have again uh, this is null so t is exactly equal to null so this set of piece piece of code will not be executed so you are gonna, gonna get nothing so 4 is printed and this pre-order of d function is complete now when pre-order of d function is complete then the signal goes to the next line pre-order of b which was halted in between uh, executes the next instruction now pre-order of the right child of this node b we need to visit so uh, right child of the node t b in this case is e so you write execute pre-order of b okay pre-order of b so right now we have one two four displayed so pre-order of e e function is called now in pre-order of e first visit of e so visit the node visit the node e okay so 5 will be displayed so that's the uh, fourth element which gets printed okay then we have pre-order of n why pre-order of n because the right left child of uh, e is null 
uh, also the uh, so this this is done so pre-order of null so this prints nothing then it goes to the next line pre-order of null again because the right child of e again is null so this uh, completes the piece of code pre-order of e so pre-order of e is complete once pre-order of E is complete, then we have uh, this executed. So the pre-order of B function is complete. So once pre-order of B com uh, program is complete, then the next line in pre-order of A gets executed. So you have the right child of the root node A now. Okay, so you are, you have done everything. This, this, this is complete. Go to the right child, right child of A, which is pre-order of C. Now pre-order of C is halted in between because this has to be executed completely. Next, it goes to pre-order of C. So in pre-order of C, again, visit the node. Visit the node. So you have visit of C. So the node element is 3. Now. So 3 is printed after 5. You get 3. After that, pre-order of f so what what how do you get pre-order of f because that's the 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 node is c now t is c its left child happens to be f so you get pre-order of f so after that pre-order of f this is halted because pre-order of f has to be running now so pre-order of f is executed next so you have visit of f so visit of f you have uh, element the sixth value then we go to the left child of the node f so this is a terminal node so this is null uh, and right child is also null so pre-order of null returns nothing pre-order of null again returns nothing so pre-order of f is complete so you get now this case you get uh, six displayed finally once this is complete now you are here pre-order of f is complete then go to the right child of pre-order of c so that is pre-order of g so when pre-order of g executes you you are under this uh, this program so you have visit of uh, g now so um, element present in the g node is 7 so 7 gets printed then uh, the next uh, code is pre-order of the left child of g it is null the right child of g that is also null so you have pre-order of null and pre-order of null so this program this doesn't do anything but pre-order of g is complete once pre-order of g is complete pre-order of c is complete once pre-order of c is complete then pre-order of a is complete so this is how it works so when 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 this piece of code is executed recursively so you can figure out that seven times the same program gets called again and again and ultimately seven data will be printed each time a function is called recursively it is going to visit the node the element present in the node will be printed and in turn you're gonna get the value displayed as one two four five three six seven that is the node then the left child then again its left child then its right child so you have one two four five then you visit this three six seven so that's your answer pre-order function hope uh, uh, your uh, your understanding this you understand this then the remaining two programs you can write uh, by your own but in order we will discuss so one only one difference for in order that is first you have in order so in in order uh, first we will not be visiting the node we give importance to left child then the node then the right side so that's how the structure is this is your in order program in order program wherein you have uh, the left child is um, running first followed by visit followed by right child so uh, uh, let's see how do you get this uh, value for this binary tree using in order hope the program is clear so what happens so for this in order program a is a root so we use here instead of uh, pre-order let's say that we have in order now. so in order of a is executed uh, in that case why a because uh, the root of uh, this node we have to pass so a is passed so when a is passed so first you are over here this program gets worked so you have in order of a so when you are uh, working on this root the first command which will be executed is in order of b so why do you get in order of p because first we we check t is not null t is not null because this binary tree is having uh, left subtree and right subtree it definitely is not null so it goes in you have in order of t of left child so what is the left child of uh, this tree the left child of this tree is b so you get in order of b function 
so then in order of b function will be executed so when you are working on in order of b again the le uh, the this is tree again is not null so you have a left child as well as right child so uh, it goes in you have in order of d now so once you have in order of d again uh, in order of d program is called okay so a is not complete b is not complete you are still in the first line of a as well as b so in order of d function when you are calling so it goes the left child of d function so the left child of uh, d function you get uh, in order of null and similarly uh, once it is null so it prints nothing okay in order of null so again it calls in order of null and in uh, when the, the tree is null now it is null so it doesn't print anything then you go to the root what is uh, the root node d node it is. so you visit d so in d what is the element present in d the element present is 4 so 4 will be displayed first i repeat 4 will be displayed first because this function is going to get complete first in order of d then the right once you get uh, 4 printed then we work on in order of the right child of the node d the right child of this node terminal node is also null so again t is equal to now null now so this uh, three line of code will not be executed so you are not getting anything here so four will be printed so once in order of d is complete this line is complete now then you visit the uh, root node of uh, this b so because for this program the root node is b so you visit b when you are visiting b uh, you get uh, two printed so after four two gets printed so this line is done then you have in order of the right ch uh, child of b the right child of b is e so you have now in order of b now in order of b state function is called so you go here in order of b uh, first you check uh, the left child left child is null so it prints nothing then uh, visit uh, the node visit the node so you have phi so it prints phi okay then again the right child of e is a terminal node so it prints nothing so it is null here so after that once the in order of e function is complete in order of b function is complete right once in order of b function is complete you go to in order of a this line is complete once this line is complete you go to the next line in this function in order of a so you have visit of a so what does visit of a visit of a throws the value one so you get fourth element displayed as one okay so uh, so this line is done then you use work on in order of c so what is in order of c why in order of c because uh, this happens to be the right child of uh, uh, the node a okay so now in order of c you have to concentrate so you are working here in order of c is executed so in this um, in order of c uh, the left child is in order of the left child of c is f so you get in order of f so once you execute in order of f so in order of f function is called so this is halted here at this moment so in order of f function has uh, uh, left child as null and uh, right child also null so this prints nothing now you are visiting the node visit of f so it prints 6 so 6 is the element which is uh, displayed the fifth element it is after this uh, you work on in order of null because a terminal node anyway uh, this fs uh, then uh, in order of f is complete once in order of f is complete then you go to the root of this c because c is not yet complete so root of c is 3 so 3 is printed 3 is printed so finally uh, uh, after this we have in order of g now in order of g program is executed so in this in order of null because this is again a terminal node so it doesn't print anything then we have uh, the node itself is visited so we have visit of g when visit of g is executed you will be getting the value present in the node so you get 7 then we have in order of right child of g right child of g is null so we get uh, no nothing printed here so once in order of g is complete then uh, in order of c is complete once in order of c is complete that instruction is complete here and uh, in order of e is complete so this way the in order program works so provi probably you can take this sketch it will uh, make you understand the program in a better way so if this is clear you can write post order we will discuss that uh, you try to write the program for post order wherein you need to work with left child right child then visit of t so that program you write and also trace the program let's see uh, uh, in the next class we will trace the program as well
that's all for today thanks